Stop laughing, stop it. I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot today, it just seems to be the way. I'll soon get to hand the, hand the microphone over to Tim in a minute, and I can sit down. I, okay, so, do you remember me mentioning expanding uh, local communities? And I talked about expanding Drupal communities. That's what we're going to talk about right now. So, in Amsterdam, I held another one of my roundtables where I invited into a room um, all of the local association leaders um, from around the world. So we had a big room, we put some chairs around, and we talked. And we had people there from well, Australia and New Zealand, India, Peru. Burkina Faso, Iceland, USA, lots of places in Europe, lots of places in Europe, <laughs> <laughs> but no one from England. Ah, but, and I do like this slide. <laughs> I didn't do these slides, Greg did the slides, Greg Harvey has been amazing. So when I organized this, lo this local association roundtable, I wanted someone to take notes, yeah? And I had, so I spoke to John as volunteer coordinator, dedicating his time to the event. And he said, oh, you can, have, you can have a couple of people. And one of the names he went to was Greg Harvey, um, who is one of the co-owners of Code Enigma, isn't he? Yeah, I think he is, yeah, director. And I went, yeah, I'll have him. Um, so Greg sat in the room, and he noticed that there was all these people sat there, and there was no one from England and Wales, and he was like, Oh, this is wrong. All these people are making decisions and working together and collaborating on making sure that Drupal is well known within their regions and doing marketing in their regions. So the Netherlands um, local association do some amazing work constantly at events about marketing and, and, uh, and, and so on, talking about Drupal. So he was like, we're missing out. We're really missing out. Is this Drexit? Well, Greg went away from that meeting, and he, he did actually supply me with the notes. He had actually taken notes, as well as having a good old think. And he talked to me a few people a few times, and he talked to some other people. I'm sure, possibly some other people in this room. And he went well. Actually. If there's no one running a, a Drupal association in England and Wales, then maybe I should do it. Which is a really big thing of him, actually. So we got on GDO, on groups.drupal.org, and he actually posted a, uh, a video, and some links and stuff like that, saying, literally, we need to be doing this, we need to be getting organised. Yeah, and he has, frankly, badgered us all ever since. Yeah, meetings have happened, phone calls have happened, and uh, we've been having Zoom conferences. I actually have got a uh, hat tip to Alex because uh, he donated his Acquia uh, Zoom conf uh, thing to actually run the meetings, which is really cool. So various people in the in the UK have been having Zoom meetings about the idea of creating an association, a Drupal association for England and Wales. Yeah? There already is one in Scotland, to be fair. Yeah? But no one in England and Wales. 
So they came to the decision, we shall call it Drupal England and Wales. Not exactly that difficult, but you, you, we went through quite a bit of work to get there, to be fair. Yeah? Okay. So, sorry, my voice is going, you're going to take over mm. soon. Um, I think it's the next line. In fact, I think I'll take it over now. Use this one, use this one. Um, so uh, we took we took the constitution that Greg gave us. Uh, where's the connection? Uh, and we basically created a, 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 a framework constitution. We crowdsourced it via Zoom meetings. Uh, the constitution is basically um, uh, worked out some key aims for the association to help local. Drupal groups in England and Wales, promote Drupal throughout England and Wales, encourage and aid the promotion of Drupal, uh, support Drupal events, and signpost people new to Drupal, whether they be users or developers, to Drupal throughout England and Wales. But avoid being a central fund. So avoid the pitfalls of being a, a basically a money pit for Drupal. The membership is aimed to be inclusive, but also adhere to the Drupal Code of Conduct. Uh, so be uh, controlled by these community working group. Uh, we have a number of roles. Uh, the first role is quite obvious, which is a chairperson. They do things uh, like chairing meetings, represent the association and be a spokesperson, liaise with the Drupal Association, and take actions required by the community working group. But the actual constitution we've got written goes into far more detail. You didn't want to hear all that. Um, then we have a secretary, a secretary who takes minutes, uh, manages the membership list, is our GDPR data controller, <laughs> well, we still have GDPR, that is. Um, manages correspondence with who, whoever necessary and circulates information throughout the association and, in, and wherever necessary. Uh, the treasurer looks after the money, does bookkeeping, oversees the accounts, sets up budgets and does financial control. The marketing manager Crate is an important role because it creates a marketing plan for the association to push uh, the association, to push Drupal, to push open source, to, put, uh, to fundraise, to aid events, the events coordinator and the sponsor manager, to coordinate with the Drupal association and coordinate with other local associations such as Drupal Scotland. Uh, the sponsor manager is an important role. It's liaise for, event, for events need sponsors and exhibitors as, um, as, a, as a method of contributing, as Rachel put it. Um, and the sponsor manager will maintain a list and contacts for these sponsors and exhibitors so people can access this central list. Keep records of interaction with those people because it's good to have an audit trail in some instances. Uh, to assist the marketing manager, because the two roles work together, and delegate to volunteers. Uh, then we have the event support manager. Uh, the event support manager is coordinates with other event, UK event organisers. So, any so if there's a Drupal camp in Scotland or a DrupalCon comes to the UK, then they coordinate with them. Advise and logistics, list events, again going back to what um, Rachel was saying, so working in with that list I would, I would hope. Uh, get feedback on events. Uh, coordinate with event organisers working group, which is uh, all the organisers of different Drupal events have a working group within Drupal. And then I just realised I haven't got my notes for the community liaison manager, but I think it's fairly obvious that it's to communicate, uh, to liaise between the Drupal community in the UK and Europe and anywhere else. 
So the, the, the point is what we want people to do is we want people to sign up just as to declare their interest as members. So put yourself forward. Never a bad time to have Barack Obama on us. Agree. And volunteer. Uh, we need volunteers to help. So that we, one of the big problems with any association is if you depend on too few people, you get burnout. If you have volunteers, you can delegate and then spread the workload and there's less burnout. One thing I would say there is if, when we fill those roles with actual people on the board and we elect people onto a board, and we'll go on to elections in a minute, what I would really advise and something that I advise to all groups is the first job of a leader, i.e. someone on a board, is to think about their succession. So we'd like volunteers to be helping each of those board members so that they're learning that job as they go. Yeah? So you, even if you don't feel that you currently are, for want of a better description, ready to be a marketing manager on a Drupal Association England and Wales board, you might actually volunteer to help that person and do some of their you know, sort of work so that you learn that stuff and feel that you can move on, if that makes sense. Yes, so there's, uh, we're going to hold elections for the, uh, the main roles. Um, there'll be a, we will form a temporary board of um, chairperson, secretary and treasurer in order to conduct the election. It will be conducted online. We think we've already got a method of doing that, which we worked out yesterday. So we need people to sign up over the, either today or over the weekend. We have a, uh, a web form for doing so, haven't we, which we can supply. The electronic vote, we'll have an, we have an electronic voting, so you, once you've signed up and we've verified who you are, so we don't get lots of spam people uh, voting, uh, then we'll have an electronic voting, um, and then as the, the current board will ratify that that election is valid and that the answers are valid, and then the results will be posted on the website. The website is already there in Nucleus. And that's it. So over the weekend, if you want to discuss more, you can speak to me, Rachel, uh, various other people, Alex and Alex, <laughs> and there are and Finn. Sorry, I forgot Finn. I don't normally forget Finn. Um, and you can speak to any of us, and we will brief you, and you can we can t give you more detail. And any ideas you've got are always, always relevant. But if you're really interested in just Becoming, uh, taking one of those roles, if you think you've got the experience and background necessary, or you know somebody who has, because there's lot, obviously lots of people who aren't here for various reasons, <laughs> or for virus reasons, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and... Um, that brings around 10. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't really getting my coat. Joke, was it? Right, it probably was actually. Um, and yes, I just speak to us over the weekend. Thank you very much. Any questions? Can we put the link on the slides tomorrow morning when? Where, if I'm trying to look for someone at the camp, maybe we can put the link on the slides in the morning. Yeah, that would probably make sense, wouldn't it? Because we'll get a bigger audience then. Uh, we also have a Twitter handle, which is Drupalu, L-U-W. <laughs> it seems, it seems um, and we'll put the link on there as well. <coughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Thank you very much.